Hi, I'm Frederick, the micro-hobbyist. I've received quite a few packages from AliExpress, so time for another mailbag video. Let's go for it. All right, are you ready? Time for the first package. Let's try not to dox myself with uh, the labels. First one. There seems to be a few of them in there. All right. First package. SD card readers. Last time on AliExpress I had some micro SD card readers. This time I got some regular old-fashioned sized SD card readers. I don't know. It'll give me the choice of micro or regular size for my next project. We'll see. Got a few of them. They were really inexpensive. Un? No, inexpensive. Next one. Ah, yes, barrel connectors. I had a few of them before that I unfortunately purchased the wrong size. I think these ones are the one, uh, two, 2.5 uh, millimeter versions. I got the 2.1, I didn't fit my, uh, my power plug. Let's see if it's the right one this time. Yes, good one, perfect. I bought, I think, 20-ish or 30 in there because I use them a lot in my projects. Next package. Ah, yes, I one day I purchased these from a local uh, hard, uh, electronics store and I really love those little switches because basically they are illum LED illuminated uh, standard 12 millimeter uh, sized um, uh, button, push buttons but they have these little things, uh, the, these little pins for the LED. There is a direction, of course, where the dot is. In this particular case, it would be right there. That would be the anode, if I'm remembering my schematic correctly. Um, when I did my uh, board for uh, the uh, backplane, I unfortunately miscalculated the distance of these little pins. And they're really tiny and they can get crooked pretty fast so you have to be careful when you do the package for this next time you do your your design um, calculate your footprint uh, twice not just once like I did and check again love those oh yes I purchased these but yeah these will be for these. Oh, they'll go on the other side here. Uh, but I already put some there. But at least these ones will be closer to the edge than the ones I got. I have to redo them because um, yeah, I'll have to put them higher. Give them a little spacing because of the... If I have one here... Do I have one here? No, I removed it because when I put the uh, male version of it, uh, the, uh, the connector, the header, it was too high. Well, I'll give you an example. If I put these two together, um, you can see the uh, height difference between the spacer here and there. So I'll have to take into account that when I solder the next time the to make for the proper mating mm. anyways so 
got these. Put that back, got two position and four position. Next in the bag. Hope I framed things correctly. Unfortunately, I didn't check my framing for the first ones, but I think I got it right. I'm getting it right this time. My monitor's on the side. I don't, what is this? I don't remember. It's well packaged compared to the other stuff. Oh, yes. This is a basically for powering Instead of having an ATX power supply, you get to put this on. Uh, let me get my board, my almost finished board, which is, gonna, which is going to be featured in my part two video for the back plane. So this will go in theory like so. Yeah. And um, it takes in does it say how much how many volts it takes in? It's not it doesn't specify what the voltage input is. I'll have to look at the website. I think it's 12 volt. Is I don't know if it's a buck boost converter in there, but I will have to verify. Get you back. I'll get back to you on that when I do part two of this. Next, well, that's heavy. Ah, resistors. Always need resistors. Oh, damn. <laughs> I cut it open. Oh, well. All the values, all there. I love these little blue ones. They're um, higher precision for uh, compared to the uh, beige ones. So it's always practical, have, always practical to have more than less. This I already opened because I thought it was something else, but these are uh, LEDs which come pre and pre-packaged with resistors. So I got all the colors in theory. So that means when I do a little test and demos, because I'm going to use these. So, for uh, my step-by-step -step series, so I got yellow, yellow, okay, they're all the colors inside one package. I got three of them, and there, there are 20 pieces each. So I got yellow, green, blue, red and white is it cool or warm white I, ah yeah it's 6000 so it's cool um, cool white sorry I'm babbling again no need to do that got a bigger one here and there seems to be a few things in there so let's try not to cut anything in there oh there's some addresses, so that's not. Anyways, if you do see it, doesn't matter. It's my business address. So come, come and have a visit. A visit if you ever see the address. Okay, I did purchase a lot, did I? Okay, these would be. Hmm, I forget. Let's let's open. I think I know what they are, but. Before I guess, I really hate it when they package things like that. Mm, let me check. Do I have my magnifying glass? Can I see from here? No, I have to to unwrap them. Ah, yes, general instruments. These would be the 
AY38910. So sound chips. I got one, two, three, four, five of them for roughly, roughly, how much was it? Less than a dollar, about. Good deal if they are the real ones, of course. Next in the package. Ah, zip sockets. Yes. It's always practical to have a few. Hope the pins survive the trip. Yeah, they seem okay. So I got some uh, various sizes for my needs. I didn't think I'd need smaller than the 20 pins. 20 pins will be useful for, for the, the, the EPLDs, 24 pins for the EPLDs. Uh, EE uh, proms. Those are the 24. No, it's the 28 for, for example, an Arduino 32 pin, 40 pin, and these would be the 28s. Um, these are Chinese versions, so I don't know how reliable they are, but the pins seem to be long enough to fit on a breadboard without popping off. We will test those when we do our step-by-step -step video and we'll need to swap out the um, ROMs, not the ROMs, but the EEPROM or the flash in this particular case that we'll be using. Next. Ah, that will go for the power supply. It's basically a splitter, but I needed it. I needed uh, for the floppy drives because, as you saw uh, in one of my um, mailbag videos, I bought two new old stock floppy drives. And as you can see, these, they're no way, they are nowhere in sight. Now, I can connect my floppy. Ah, yes. It's always practical. I was wondering what they were, but basically it's just ferrite beads. Uh, I had some, but they were like huge and sometimes you just need small ones on the board um, and it's perfect they are 3.5 by 3 is it that yeah 3.5 by 3 or is it 8 <laughs> no just kidding all right next i have a box what's in the box more goodies i know but what is in the box? Very curious. I know I ordered a lot of things, but... Um, um, oh, yes! DuPont cables. I like to have a few on hand. And I'm probably going to do a part of the step-by-step -step series using DuPont cables. And they're all male-male of various sizes, uh, depending on the size of the project. Uh, I may or may not use these on a permanent basis because they can be unreliable. Uh, at uh, the connection wise, connection wise, I mean. So we will try them. Uh, they'll be perfect for data bus, data bus. I can use like a, a nice little uh, string of them because you can peel them off, right? 
Well, that was a lot of goodies, right? They all came in roughly at the same time. I am missing two pieces uh, or two batch of uh, SRAM, 512K to be precise, and uh, 512K of flash memory also. I won't be covering that because it will be kind of pointless, I already told you. The um, next video will be the step-by-step -step series that I will be launching soon or probably will be the part two of the backplane from the ZAD homebrew series. If you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe and tickle the notification bell to be notified when new videos are posted. And if you like this video, please click the like button. I hope you've enjoyed. Have a good day or good night and see you next time.